see that shit in the middle of the day. All right? 70s, I mean, there was some cool music coming from the 70s, but the 70s mm-hmm. just, it was just some ugly shit going on. I mean, yeah. it with, with with the way you dress. Yep. I mean, in in the and even with the with the music. I mean, yes. now, like I said, there's a lot of cool uh, rock and soul that came mm-hmm. out of the seventies. Yeah, but everybody wanted to fucking disco, disco. up everything. E- everyone was fucking disco. <laughs> fucking kiss disco for crying out loud. <laughs> I was made for loving you, baby. <laughs> like what? Kiss? Every you guys everybody. are from Detroit. <laughs> And, and and yeah, and, and I couldn't even understand the stars that came mm-hmm. out of the same, like the Bee Gees. Uh huh. You remember the Bee Gees? Uh, like, how can I like, forget? I couldn't understand what the tragedy. fuck. Yeah, tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, tragedy. But that's the thing. You couldn't understand what the fuck the Bee Gees were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going yeah. on? Oh, and, and Kiss is from uh, Queens, I think. So. <laughs> correct myself real quick. No, Quiz, uh, no Quiz. Kiss, is, Kiss is from Detroit, aren't they? No. They made a song called Detroit, Detroit Rock, Rock City. City yeah. But, yeah, but they're they're from Queens, uh, yeah, Queens, New York. Oh, okay, I thought. But they yeah, were... before I have a one that one old member go, hey, oh. host, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, that was there. You disrespect the kiss hard. Like that one 45, 50 year old guy sitting up there <laughs> yeah. with uh, kiss makeup on. Yes, exactly. Hey. Listening to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, as a court carrying member of the Kiss Army, I'll have to educate this motherfucker. I take umbrage to you, saying hell from the New Jersey. But no, man. Yeah, no, everybody tried yeah. to do disco. Go back. I remember fucking Sesame Street, dude. If you know, because back then uh-huh. the biggest movie was like Saturday Night Live. I mean, Saturday goddamn Night Saturday Night Fever. I, I keep doing that shit. Saturday Night Fever, boy. Mr. John Travolta. John himself. Travolta, man. Yeah. Sa- and Saturday Night Fever was a badass movie, man. It was great. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I love that shit on the bridge. When that yeah. dude fell off the I bridge. Know, we, were the talk- we were talking about that. I was like, you, Tony, you never call, Tony. You never call. You never call, <laughs> yeah, he's, Tony. And he's he like, come on, get off, off get off the beam, get off. Come on, come on. Like, oh, okay, I will. Whoa! Whoa! The fucking girl freaked out. <laughs> and the BG starts. The BG is kicking. Fell yeah. off a bridge. Uh-huh. I love that. Kiss Not, I love the beginning when he's uh, getting ready. He's like all getting all nice, and he goes to the fucking uh, dining room table with his family, and his dad starts talking shit to him. And he like hits him in the back of the head. He's like, "Hey, I work all day on my hair," and he hits it, and he hits it. What the fuck? Hey. No, but yeah, people, uh, kids probably don't remember Saturday Night Fever, but that mm. was a uh, that was John Travolta's big break. Oh yeah, I mean he was on Welcome Back. Car- hey, Mr. Mm-hmm. Carter, but Mr. no, Vinny Paparino, and that motherfucker could dance too back oh, yeah. then because everybody yeah. was trying to do that swami dance that he yeah. did on the dance floor where uh-huh. you kick your legs out oh yeah i don't know how he did that shit but no. but uh yeah it, he was an icon for mm-hmm. the 70s man john yeah. travolta yeah it was a movie about him uh he, he was like a working class italian dude i don't even remember what the fuck that movie was about I don't all i know is a bunch of a bunch of dudes hanging out and fucking dancing on a, on all a the bridge time. yeah <laughs> hanging out in the disco and hanging out on a bridge yeah, yeah but there was this yeah john travolta was a guy who uh I, and I haven't seen the movie in years, so I'm mm-hmm. not gonna even try to recap the movie. I just yeah. remember like he was kind of a working class Italian, yeah. And his his escape was the disco, yeah. Like he was the star. He put that on that fucking his, white uh, yeah. polyester suit, uh-huh. go out and get that hot ass '70s mm-hmm. chick, and they yeah. go to the to the disco. Yeah, he and was then, in love with that ballerina chick, I think. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah like she was a real dancer. And yeah, shit. yeah. <laughs> but but there was a scene in the movie where his friend would always hang on that bridge. Mm-hmm. And they were all nervous about him, and, and they like he never fell back in that movie. That motherfucker slipped and fell. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And that motherfucker, you couldn't help but feel sorry for him because you could tell you like he was the quiet guy that hung out in the group. Like you you, you never understood why he hung out. Because it seemed like nobody gave a shit about and that. Nobody guy. liked him, so he yeah, was always like yeah, he, asking for attention. Exactly. That's why he was doing that shit on the bridge. Yeah, and he just like, yeah. All of a sudden, he just flips out, and then he starts going to Tony. He's like, Tony, how come you never call, Tony? How come you never call me? <laughs> how come Tony? you never? <laughs> you never call. He's like, all right, I'll call you, man. I'll call you. We're gonna hang out. We have a real good time. Oh yeah. Oh, t- all right. I'll get off. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that but, that scene always, always stuck out to me in that. Film. I think that movie might have just propelled people to just make disco anything. I mean, because they Thanks made to the fucking Bee Gees, the Bee Gees. Fuck, <laughs> yeah. They made disco out of fucking everything. Sesame Street, Sesame Street. They had se- Sesame Street Fever. Yeah, where it was like, because <laughs> I, I remember that album cover, uh-huh. man. It was like Wait, Cookie Monster, was- Grove, and Ernie. They looked like yeah. the Bee Gees. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it was it was burnt out on uh-huh. the dance floor. Or maybe it was Grover. no. I want to say it was Grover. It was who, Grover who, on the dance Gro- floor, yeah, dressed up in that polyester, in that polyester white suit. suit. <laughs> yeah, fucking doing his finger pointing <laughs> yeah. to the sky. Yeah, yeah. no I'm man, like, that that and fucking disco duck. Remember that? 
Dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they, they fucking did. I remember Disco Duck. They made, yeah. man, they, oh, fuck. Well, yeah, I'm going to come back in there. Because that's another thing. They, uh-huh. they made funny animal music back then with Disco. Yeah. But, uh-huh. but um, uh, yeah, I mean, because they, they, anything that was popular mm-hmm. back then, yeah, they put disco to it. Exactly. I mean, it didn't even have to be popular. Like, yes. like, oh, like, uh, what was it? It was Star Wars. You remember that? They took Star Wars. How and put can the, I forget? Put, I, I had I had that fucking album. Yeah. They put the disco to Star Wars. Yes. to the Star Wars thing, and they had the sound effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had they had the battle scene, the 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 like laser fight scene. Fucking, you can hear that shit in the background along with R two D two. Yeah, it was made by a guy named. It's either Miko or Mecca. I can't remember, but. Uh, yeah, it had the fucking album cover with this fucking black dude in a spacesuit along with his white chick. <laughs> like, they were fucking shaking their hips, fucking dancing, you know, in a fucking... It looked like a Flash Gordon background. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. I gotta pull it up right here. Hold on, because you gotta right, hear yeah. this shit. Like, it's yeah. like they made fucking disco out of everything, because yeah. uh, they, they did it with Beethoven's Fifth. Yeah, it's which, like, that which one, I, I want to say that was also in uh, Saturday Night Fever. There was a scene Was that, that in Saturday Night Fever? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because they did... Because... Beethoven's Fifth. I mean, that's uh, classic. I mean, uh-huh. that's that's classical music. It's one of the best compositions ever. I and mean, I love music I love for it. your ass. Yes. And, and somebody took that shit they and made that disco shit into, that shit up. They made their disco <laughs> the fuck out of that. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me pull this shit up. Now Play you got me. Now shit, you got me Cord. reminiscing. Play that music, Cord. Yeah, here's a, here's this shit, man. They made, I mean, they made disco out of every fucking thing. <laughs> let's listen to this shit here, man. Babe, let me let, let me see. Do I have it right here? Hey. Uh, okay, there we go. Now it starts out like yeah. Beethoven's fifth. That's what it sounds like. Uh oh, but here's where Beethoven gets funky right here. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beethoven out there in the, in the little in those jogging shorts <laughs> with his tube socks on. I, I can see that guy with the with the green fucking short shorts. The roller skating backwards. <laughs> roller, that's what you see. A lot of people roller skated to this oh, shit. Yeah. You remember back in the day? Yeah, like, they did. They had those tight shorts on, those those tube socks, the and those roller skates, and the, the Jufro, Jufro with the, the headband. headband. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right. Look, you're like, it's Saturday Night Live. Yeah. I mean, Saturday, Saturday Night, Night Fever. Fever. Yeah. yeah, look at that. <laughs> that shit's kind of cool, though, man. Oh, you yeah. know? It's like, like that little. <laughs> I'm just looking at Beethoven with his skates on. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sounds like Jawa's music, right? <laughs> oh, there's some Star Wars cantina music, right? There. <laughs> there's aliens doing this. I think that's the most Isley band playing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and it's funny, man. We talk shit about disco, but you hear uh-huh. that shit, it's like, wow, yeah. you know, maybe that's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but people got creative with. Oh shit, I started that shit again. Uh-huh. But people got creative with that shit. They did it with Star Wars, man. I know, but <laughs> that was just it rid- you think like, you ridiculous. Know, nothing nothing is sacred. <laughs> I know nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh shit! <laughs> just like in the movie. Luke Skywalker and old Ben dancing on the dance floor. <laughs> and they out there dancing in, in unison. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> the wars. Nothing but Star Wars. I'll steal your car wars. <laughs> Give me crazy. your keys. <laughs> I don't know what Those crazy is. Star Wars. <laughs> Oh, hey! Uh, <laughs> His musical debut. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> it's funny. We're watching a video right now with Darth Maul <laughs> getting yeah, into a fighting stance with this shit playing in the background. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> that there was a Saturday Night Live sketch where they actually did have lyrics to Star Wars with Bill Murray. With Bill, yeah. yeah, Star Wars, <laughs> nothing but Star Wars. <laughs> Those nutty Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find that shit with Bill Murray singing it. That shit was it was oh, cool, man. That was uh, let me see, Bill Murray, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> oh, here it is, Bill Murray, Star Wars, yes. when I'm singing. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is old Saturday Night Live shit. When Saturday Night Live was fucking great. Oh, Star Wars. 
By the way, that's the, that is the uh, lost Leox segment that didn't yeah. get on Halloween. <laughs> they found it. Here it is, like right here. Irish that's Irish yeah. singing. <laughs> Them funny book boys. <laughs> singing into his Stormtrooper fucking yeah. limited edition action figure. <laughs> and, hey, how about that nutty Star Wars bar? Can you forget all the creatures in there? <laughs> hey, Darth Vader in that black and evil mask. He scared you. He scared, <laughs> scared me. I remember this shit. Wars, nothing but Star Wars. My seventh winner up here, Star Wars. <laughs> That's oh, awesome, man. That was uh, yeah. I, I I remember that shit, man. <laughs> I used to love that shit. I, I uh, surprised they didn't release that on vinyl. Damn, Corey. You're old. Taking you back. <laughs> Taking you back. Taking you too back. Too far back. Come back, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get my DeLorean and come, yeah, come back to the future. <laughs> get my gigawatts going right here. <laughs> You'll end up in the Planet of the Apes. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back. Yeah. Co-host, yeah. you killed them all. Damn you. Oh God, God damn you. Damn you you oh, did it. Hell. Co-host, you blew it up. Did God you, damn you. I laughed my fucking ass off when I saw the comment page and Predator put up that video when, when, when we announced that there was no show. <laughs> He's like, God damn you. All oh, the, the hell. hell. <laughs> I have to admit, the, half of those comments were like the greatest comments. Everybody was doing, everyone was posting up pictures of the Darth Vader doing the no. Man, let me tell you I something. I never laughed so hard looking at a comment page until I that saw was ours. What, uh, that was like a, uh, how long was that, that show? Even that, like show five was like, that show was like two minutes. Minute. It, it was two minutes. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't even a show. It was like an apology. <laughs> yeah. And that's our most popular show ever. I know. It's like, <laughs> we should keep fucking up like that. I know. <laughs> it would be the greatest podcast of all time. Yeah, take that, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, somebody got mad about these comments. Oh, no. Some, somebody just posted because uh-huh. on the uh, okay for the for the apology that we uh, posted for uh, for for losing the show. Yeah, because we went we went ahead and posted up. Uh, let's do this. Yeah, and we said sorry, people, we lost the show, mm. and that was pretty much it. Yeah, and we said oh, we'll, yeah. we'll make it up and do another one. Right, and. There's like 22 pages of people like, uh-huh. no, how could you? There is no God. Somebody got pissed about that. This dude, uh-huh. uh, Kyle Scott, says, 22 pages of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> am I, am I, I, I am just bummed as the next guy, but, but the world's not over. <laughs> it is to some people. It is over. It's over for everyone. <laughs> I loved, uh, there's a picture that this guy put up of, uh, it was supposed to be his cat doing the no his the, the, the oh, arms, up, his arms up in and the air. All I thought about was when we were talking about Michael Jackson and that <laughs> that song. <laughs> and there's a part in the podcast where I was like, I want to see a cat like fly up in the fucking sky, like you know, go through the clouds and have a rainbow fucking just appear out of nowhere with that Michael Jackson song. Like, well, well, that's what we were talking about yesterday because yeah. we got into uh, when we were talking about music from the seventies. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then for some reason we said, you know, the eighties. Now we yeah. like okay, we make making fun of the seventies, but eighties yeah. is where music got crazy. It got fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. and 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 uh, I was telling you like uh, I was man because I got into Michael Jackson when uh-huh. this is it came out. Right. I start pulling out all my old Michael Jackson songs mm-hmm. and start putting them on my on my on my on my iPhone right. and shit. And I was just like, man, this shit is taking me back. And then it took uh-huh. me back to like how much michael jackson was sampled i'm like you know mm-hmm. these motherfuckers want to make fun of michael jackson rightfully so because right, he was right. kind of crazy you right, know right. yeah but we're not gonna try to ignore that yeah no no he was crazy <laughs> yeah. but no but that motherfucker was a musical genius uh-huh. and, it, and there are so many people who got their career started you know just because by, of him because yeah. of him well i yeah. don't even say started but they got a boost from sampling michael jackson well, they man. definitely had a fucking one hit wonder uh uh I guess we'll get into it soon. But, yeah, and I'll, I'll mention the guy who I'm talking about. Uh, that his whole career is, is that one song was based. You know, the popularity of it was based solely because Michael Jackson. was Oh, in Michael it. Jackson yeah. helped so many people with their careers. Yeah, you're, ta- you're talking about Rockwell. Rockwell, yes, that Rockwell was the guy oh, who who was, he was Barry Gordy's son. Which I, is, I think a nephew or something. And, I don't, yeah, I don't, he was. Re- he had to have been related. He was related somewhere. to Barry Gordy. <laughs> yeah, and since he was related to Barry Gordy. Mm-hmm. Uh, who is the, the president of Motown? Right. 
at least at the time, mm-hmm. they were able to get Michael Jackson yes. to come on and sing one 